What up, what up? We're here with the Baseball Bat Bros, and today, folks, we are trying out the new Marucci Cadex Composite U-Triple-S-A. Let's get it. All right, folks, here's a closer look at the new 2023 Marucci Cat X Comp. Uh, people are also calling it the Cat 10 here. Uh, we have a two-piece composite. This is gonna be the Drop 5 U Triple SA. So if you guys remember, uh, the Cat 9 composite from a couple years ago, that has been our GOAT, folks. Maybe the hottest bat I've ever swung in my life. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! And we are hoping that this is gonna be a very similar continuation of that bat. So today, we've got the bat here that is basically undefeated in these comparison videos. This thing just steamrolls everything it matches up against, some of our highest exit elos ever. I believe we do indeed have some changes though. I believe the barrel profile is a little bit different on the Cadex. I believe the swing weight might be a little bit lighter on the Cadex, and I think there might be a little bit longer break-in period. This might be a little less hot out of the wrapper, but hopefully more durable, folks. So we'll throw the barrel rings on here and then we'll take some hacks folks see how the exit below are looking see how long it takes this thing to open up let's get it all right so we got 32s on both of these drop fives so very similar a little heftier barrel on the uh, cat 9 composite here as opposed to the cat x but for all intents and purposes, man, that, that's pretty dang close. And then regarding swing weight, folks, I have been told from a lot of people that this is supposed to be a tiny bit more balanced than the Cat9 composite, but man, I'm just hoping they're similar. I'm hoping that we have another one of these Cat9 comps. Uh, we'll take a few swings initially with this, see where our exit velos are at, try to break this in a little bit, and hopefully it's the same, folks. Let's go. And we're out here at a new hitting facility today, folks. We're at the Raging Cages hitting facility here in Youngsville, Louisiana. Absolutely gorgeous. JT on the bump. Let's go. And then last thing I forgot to mention here, the grip and the taper is a little more smooth on all the new Cat X bats. Just an absolutely perfect taper uh, into the knob right here. Also a smaller knob than what they previously have done with that kind of big bulby one right there. All right, got our crack and bat grip here. We are gonna start with the Cat 9 composite and absolutely light up the hit tracks like it always does out here at Mid and Maid Park today. Let's get it. Oh, baby. That ball's gonna move, folks. 1023 for 417. <laughs> Good little warm up hack. The oblique's still getting loose. Oh my Goodness. Gosh. 1057. Just smoked to <laughs> the 425 at a 25 degree launch angle, dude. Oh my God. Dude, that was killed. All right, one more good barrel with this. So, really, uh, really pay attention to the sound. I do think we're going to have a very different initial sound from the Cat X. Whereas this thing out of the wrapper, man, if you go back to our first videos ever, 2021 Cat 9 composite. Oh, yeah. Oh. Sounded like a ZOA or a CF Zen kind of from swing one. Oh, baby. Bro. 106, dude, that's going so far. 441. That was on the train track. 106 too, that was on the tracks? Yeah. That was the first time I've done that. All right. Uh, this bat's really good, folks. I honestly don't even feel like I really, really got one there. Yeah. Uh, we might get one at the end just for fun, but... Uh, world premiere of the Cat X Composite. Got to get the grip on there. Stick it. Oh, dude, the, the grip feels so freaking nice. That tapers money. I do buy that it's, oh. it's lighter. It's a little bit lighter. Wait. Yeah. 381, 95.3. Yeah, high pitch there, man. It freaking whips through the zone though. This almost feels a little bit more like the meta U Triple SA bat in terms of swing weight. Ooh, that woof, freaking stung. Ooh, dude, yeah, it's not feeling good yet. This thing needs some hacks, bro. So with the composite U Triple SA bat, uh, breaking in the bat will definitely increase your exit velos, but you'll also feel the sweet spot expand. Uh, you'll feel those balls down towards the hands will no longer hurt once you get enough swings to where this is fully broken in. Uh, the main indicator, you can hear it. It's more of a bonk, more of a low pitch sound, as opposed to the ping you're hearing right now. Oh, there's barrel. 108, what? What? Oh my Lord. Don't really know what to say about that. I finally found the sweet spot. 103.6. It might be higher pitch, but I think it's still hot. It bangs. It doesn't feel as good. Yeah. That bat feels more forgiving, almost like there's more flex 
or just the sweet spots a little bit bigger. This definitely feels more rigid, more stiff, almost feels like a one piece composite kind of, but if you get it, bro, oh my God, we might break 110 today, man. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's insane, bro. You okay. Look, that, that was within 10 hacks. Yeah. That, that was probably my seventh swing. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're gonna go back and forth a little bit. I swear, dude, I really do not expect that. Uh -huh. Based on those first few hacks, I thought that was gonna take a long time to warm up to 110, bro. You get that? 111.6. What the heck? Yeah, one more, dude. I got more in the tank with this, I'm telling yeah. you. This bat's so crazy. Yeah, 113, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're both just nuts, right? That bat's one of my favorite bats I've ever swung in my entire life. Like, I'll confidently say that. Now, let's see how many swings it takes for this to kind of get that lower pitch sound. Hopefully get up in kind of the 111, 112, 113 range. <laughs> yeah, 105, seven, 416. Hardest grounder ever, 110. Yeah, dude, the sweet spot is not as big right now, but I attribute that fully to just the break-in period. I have 500 plus swings on that Cat9 comp, and we're at about 20 right now on this. Guy, 113.2, bro. Okay, dude, this is as hot. This is legit as hot as the Cat9 comp, bro. It's just, it doesn't feel as good, man. But I guess that, that don't matter that much if you're hitting a 113. Oh, yeah, dude. 111.5. Dude, it's like already there. That's crazy though. It doesn't sound like it's there. It doesn't feel like it's there. Uh -huh. But the ball is coming off, man. Just still tons of breaking, I feel like, is still available for this bat. One thirteen point five. How about a fourteen degree launch angle going three thirty five, dude? <laughs> oh, goodness. Nope. I hope through the water pipes is getting smoked. One hundred five, four twenty seven. Come on. No, too low. That, that was your content hack. That content hack. Oh my oh. goodness, bro. That was so loud. You know, the sound is changing. Uh -huh. So I figure like. For every one of my swings, for a 13-year-old swing in this bat, for a 12-year-old swing in this bat, that's gonna be like five of your swings, right? So I probably took about 30 good hacks to get this bat decently broken in where you could hear the sound change. So that's gonna take you guys a good 150 plus swings to where you're finally gonna feel like this thing's opening up. Oh my goodness, bro, 106.6. All right, one more hack with each of these. Now that we've got a decent amount of swings on this guy, that's starting to sound good. That feels incredible, dude. That almost feels like this merged a little bit with that orange meta drop five. A little stiffer, a little lighter swinging, takes a little bit longer to break in. That, that feels a little hotter, dude. It's just, the barrel feels more forgiving. Yeah, so this one feels hotter, dude, but I feel like the hit tracks doesn't necessarily say that i think that just has a little more forgiving barrel yeah. maybe a little more flex in the handle this feels stiffer oh dang man yeah it's they're right there bro <laughs> oh wait okay last one. Oh my god 110 that might be 450. ah oh, 447 man all right that's great it's good. Dude, I, I don't like, I can't imagine, unless you're hitting in like 30 degree weather, bro, I can't imagine any kid is gonna break this. Yeah. So adding up our data here, folks, on the well-struck balls, all with the same kind of baseball, it swung 100% every single time. Uh, I do not have the numbers in front of me right now. You guys are seeing them. I will later go home and add them all up. But if I had to guess, man, I don't think they're gonna be very far off. Uh, I think just cause maybe the majority of the time when I was catching barrels with this, it was not broken in yet. This probably is a little bit higher, but there's a very good chance they're the same, man. As far as like pop goes and how hot the ball comes off these bats when you barrel it up, uh, definitely have to say they're both just 
the best it gets, man. Absolutely incredible. I will say swing weight was definitely a little bit lighter on the new Cat X here. And I will say the barrel forgiveness and the flex was definitely a little bit better on the Cat 9 composite here. Durability just seems absolutely stellar on both. Finally, guys, after all we've been through, I see a little bit of raised paint on the Cat 9 composite right there. But like, that is it, bro. That is definitely not even close to a break yet. Here's a close up of the Cat X. Dude, like not even spider webbing yet. Just goes to show how freaking durable these things are, guys. I'm not being paid to make this video. I'm not sponsored by Marucci. These things, man, check all the boxes. Easy to swing. The grip on this one especially is just absolutely perfect. All things considered, the Cat X composite and the Cat 9 composite, both of them, I mean, they're almost the same bat. Uh, this is the best bat that you AAA has had. In, in, in recent history, folks, honestly. Like, even if you look at like the XL1, those were more fragile than this. It was super end loaded. If you look at the Green Zen, those were super fragile, but these are absolutely fantastic, man. Huge thumbs up. They're gonna stay number one on the list. So if this video helped you out, guys, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and head over to baseballbatbros.com. You'll find write-ups on all of our favorite USSA bats. You'll find our top five rankings and all of our BB Core rankings over there as well. And you can check out our merch over at routine.com. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.